this portion of the tutorial i will teach you how to uh, integrate my image in the docker compose file and how to debug in uh, dockerized container image okay so i'm coming into my vs code and it's my docker compose file to service already running before I start anything, I am now committing my code. Lots of code updated there. So here, uh, Docker file added. Click the commit. It is not working. Okay, so I push this code in the uh, GitHub branch. Push. So we can understand how to check this code so I am adding another and before any work I first remove all my container rm hyphen f my docker image radius and this all these image are removed and clear the skin okay so now i am adding another service that is docker tutorial al i tutorial okay so now provide the image what is our image name if i go there and docker images you see my image name is my docker image so i copy this and in my vs code i added this now the port in quotation and from the docker file uh, or i added there in the port is 8085 or 8080 enough i added this in the port 8080 and this container depends on both of these container okay so i adding depends on so it's not providing any help again, don't save and open again file open folder and docker tutorial src sorry docker tutorial select folder Click the docker file, docker compose, okay, so here, adding another service, okay, now help hand is working, docker tutorial, docker tutorial, images, Docker image, Docker image, port, port, zero eight zero, and also need some environment variable, environment environment is connection string copy this double quotation I added this and 
add another environment that is through this connection through environment added and this container depends on both db and if i not added the depends on otherwise simultaneously they are trying to create the image before uh, the db that time is showing some error because some connectivity issue happened so if i doing add the depends so that means first of all it deploy both the container then it start deploying the docker tutorial container okay so and i also added another file in this uh, area that is dot env environment variable so environment variable i added some uh, application db here i added the database connectivity so i remove from uh, server to this part control x cut and the single quotation i added this and create another environment var a variable that is redis db and added So now our we need to update env that is server name is not server name is db and redis is name is service name instead of my redis at the redis okay so now these two environment variable need to add this environment variable so how can i add this environment variable it is dollar sign in the second bracket and this scenario also doing there and application db and the redis db perfect okay so our docker compost file also generated now in our application uh, instead of HTTP, I create uh, the Docker Compose and now debug using the Docker Compose. You see, so no, where is the error? Docker tutorial is neither has image or con invalid compost project. So some issue is found there that is overwrite in the override environment so the service so services so in i remove others file close all but this and open the docker compose also my service name is docker tutorial this uh, override all used to uh, update the services okay so i now um, click the build solution see the build is successfully now i run the application using the docker compose now you see this type of container also opening the debugging if I check the docker ps you see three images created and now I go to the local host local host 8080 slash swagger see some issue happened if I click the docker compose you see it open in the debugger mode 
the issue debug Another style is fail. So, for in micro entity framework, here is a login field for user SA. Okay, so same issue happened. The environment variable, the password is different, and here the password is different. Okay, so using the password uh, i am adding the same password that is sa123 okay inside the uh, sa password so this password and this password is similar now now i again uh, rebuild the solution build solution build is successfully now i open the docker compose It's open in debugger mode. So before open the Docker Compose, I need to check Docker DS. Docker DS. So some issue happened in API application and Build one up to date. So before move forward, I clear everything. Docker ps, Docker rm hyphen f. All the container and also um, getting Docker ps hyphen f. Docker RM and everything is removed. So now I get the Docker. Fully is running successfully. Docker PS. Docker PS hyphen A, Docker logs. Need to investigate where the issue based. Unable to configure STD certificate. It's not an issue. Info, unable, invalid, unable to form HTV, no server certificate. So, maximum. So. Okay, unhandled exception, fail micro exception hosting. So, you are unable to configure state node server, configure certified .NET trust. Okay, so I open to the application. I think in the launch setting, I also updated some part because this part environment. So, um, environment variable i need to update the environment variable to occur hmm. so http s init so i update the environment variable to because our application now open 8081 and 8080 port so launch setting i also previously updated so now i click the docker compose done docker container ready Okay, 
https has some issue so if i remove the https part only the http https port http https port remove and now run the docker compose Ticket again the log here docker ps docker ps hyphen a docker log copy paste to configure the server certificate default developments are could not be found dot net env card trust the certificate windows okay so certificate related issue the reveal solution all successfully now with docker compose debug docker override docker compose testing it core environment development if I remove also this in Docker Compose, Docker PS, PS8080 port, 8080. Okay, now you see. The application is running smoothly. If I click the contact, try it out. A, B, C, one, two, three, anything. Uh, not I added any validation. Data is inserted. Execute. Everything is working fine. And ready. Suppose uh, try it out. Key name Rahim. Data is inserted, and if I copy the name, try it out, and name. Okay, so what the issue previously I am facing that is the HTTPS port. So I remove the HTTPS port, only support the HTTP port in my debug mode. Okay, so you can also debug your application. Suppose if you want to uh, debug the Redis cache part. I click the Docker Compose again. Now, if I click the uh, get uh, okay, so this is not coming there. I think the preview version is not coming. If you are using any old version, that time the the compose file made mm, Docker Compose debug property. If I change this debug profile now manage docker on launch setting start without debug db the docker compose launch docker tutorial launch action do you want to set the changes now? So it's a dockerized system is added. So uh, this way you can also debug your application using the Docker Compose. Debug property. Again, added debug. I give 
again there's an arrow no where is the arrow check debug docker compose assembly okay again i think they replace something override not it's not override anything if i uh, clean solution Compose. Where is the issue? Field solution. I need to check something. It's created, updated for the Docker setup or not? Overwrite. DB Docker tutorial. Everything is fine not any issue clean again so the main issue is the debugger debugging is not working the main reason is uh, in your docker compose file also a, if you uh, click the docker compose uh, it also showing some issue so do you see the debugging is here working but not any debug mode or if you uh, hit any api that time the response is come pro comes but not debugging is working so the issue is uh, in your uh, docker compose file you provide the name of your uh, backend application is docker tutorial backend service name is so in your launch setting you need to provide service action that is docker tutorial start debugging okay now i run the docker compose if i refresh and see something so cache is also expired i think Okay, so I think you understand how to uh, how to add the Docker Compose uh, in your uh, project. How to set up your own project in the Docker Compose file and uh, why the environment variable is needed. Okay, so hope I think hopefully you understand everything in the Docker Compose and. Uh, in preview version the debugger uh, docker compose debugger is not working i think is a stable version it will working smoothly so now i uh, finish this lesson for the compose and next part i will show you how to i push the image in the azure container registry and also the docker registry okay bye